Hey guys, OSK Pro here, back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Sony WF-1000 XM3s. So these are Sony's um, noise cancelling wireless earphones. And uh, they are said to be the best in the in class in uh, noise isolation and sound quality. So beating the likes of the AirPods Pro, Samsung Galaxy Buds and uh, many other earphones in terms of sound quality and um, it's isolation so i'm just going to read you the specs on the box uh, so right on the box it says it, it has 60 audio google assistant and alexa building six hours um on the earbuds and 18 hours from the case so yeah uh, it's wireless noise cancelling um yeah it also gives more information as in design so hands-free, calling with HD voice, quick charge. So 10 minutes charge will give you 90 minutes of play uh, time. So music play, play time with N noise counting on is six hours and uh, up to 24 hours with the charging case. And music play time without um, acting noise cancellation on is eight hours and up to 32 hours with the charging case. So that's that and USB type C charging. So you have this other thing, Sense Engine Digital I think let's see and then DSEEHX so that's what this does is it tries to um, bring up the quality of um, lower quality sound uh, files but as etc batteries also so yeah uh, this is the box nice box that's good quality and uh, also yes it works with iPhone iPod and Android right so um, as you can see first of all let's see let's, so it comes with um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, ear, well, 14, um, ear tips. So what I think the first six are comply form and the rest are, uh, I think rubber or silicone. So it has different sizes and you know, to get the best sound quality, you need to find your best fit. And I find that I like the ones that just came out straight from the box because they go deep in my ear and isolate all the sound already. So that's that. Now, the case is a big boy. As you can see, it's as my, my palm. Then the case is just right, right there. But it fits in, the, in, your, in your pocket properly, so it's, that's all right. Um, right, so I'm just gonna put them back in the case. So once you open them and all that, you put them in the case. Uh, right, what's this? left and they start charging once you drop them in so it has really powerful magnets see it has really powerful magnets i'm gonna do a shake test so just light oh there's a light shaking okay so harder now oh it popped out popped back in okay even harder now oh okay try to get this one out yeah, so as you can see, they won't easily fall out. It takes a lot to like, you know, throw them out and all that. So um, connecting is easy. It either uses Bluetooth. So when you take them out, it, uh, you start searching for a connect uh, a Bluetooth device nearby, or you can use NFC to connect to them. So I'm going to demonstrate both of them. So I have my S10 right here. I'm going to quickly log in. Now, uh, I'm going to go into Bluetooth settings. And I already have them connected, so I'm going to forget about them. So, unpair. And what I like to do is, I like to take the left out, left ear out. And it just starts, and then I'll scan. And just start searching for it. It should come up soon enough. Focus, focus. What's this thing doing? It's not searching. What is happening? Scan. Take both of them out. See what happens there. Yep, there we go. Connect. And it's using Google's fast pair. So as soon as you take them out, it instantly connects to them. So it's, it's connecting to them and it is connected. 
yes so it's connected i don't know what is still rolling there for so you know to get the best out of these earphones you need to get the um the sony headphones connect what's what are you doing it is paired it's connected so what you want to do is go into the Bluetooth, uh, google play store and search for Headphones connect. Headphones connect. Click on it and install it. I've already, I already have it installed. And uh, well, let's just, let me just take it uh, on a tour around it. So uh, it shows the battery life. So they're both on 100% and the case is on 70% right now. Um, so because I have, it has adaptive noise control. So what it, this means is, let me turn up the brightness actually. What this means is, um, it automatically detects what you're doing. So at the moment, it's, it's, it thinks I'm sitting down. So it will turn on noise cancellation. And then when I'm walking, it will turn on ambient sound or transparency mode or sound pass through. And when I'm running, it will do the same thing. If I'm on, if I'm on public transport, it knows that I'm, that I'm on that and it will turn on uh, noise uh, active noise cancellation. So it thinks I'm on public transport right now, but that's very wrong but I have to put in my ears for it to accurately detect where I am. Now, as you can see, and it has several modes. So it has wind noise cancellation. So I think that's the first wind noise reduction that really works very well. Ambient sound one all the way to 20. And that's like everything on full blast. You can, I, I can allow it to only detect voices. So. If, a voice, if someone is speaking, it will focus on the voice and that's it. All right. And uh, for the equalizer, it has a, a very nice equalizer. It has some presets too. So it has up to, oh my God, why is it freaking out? It has bright, excited, oh, mellow, relaxed, relaxed, vocal, treble boost, bass boost, speech, manual. And yeah, so I, what I have mine is and custom so i just did that you click down here turn up the bass well, turn up the bass to around so that's one two three four five so around plus five because i love bass and uh, the other thing so this is analyze your ear shape so it takes a picture you take a picture of your ears it tells you what to do and to analyze it and this is for the 360 um, audio and you will need compatible apps. So let me just show you what apps that you need. So you will need uh, three, Deezer, Artix Connection, Nox.net, and Tidal. So I have Tidal and I've tried it 360 audio and it's really nice. It's not like a spatial audio, but the 360 audio. And then down here, you can add, allow it to um, prioritize. So I've had it to prioritize sound quality over connection because I'm not always too far away from the uh, buds and the connection is fine either way. All right, uh, and this is the DSEEHX. -E so you turn this on and what it does is, if you have a low quality file, it will try to bring it back to the, uh, it will try to upscale it. Now, um, you can then set it to pause when you take the earphones off. I don't like that, so I leave it and just turn it off. And you have your touch sensor um, controls. So the first one, you can left ear i've set it to tap uh, tap to cancel audio input double tap to void for noise not voice notification for google and continuous pressing to, s to turn on google and you know say oh, okay do this for me and uh or you can select which assistant you want to so you can do oh okay you can select what you want to do here too so if you don't want that you can select playback control volume control or google assistant and amazon alexa or nothing now on the right ear i just have it to play pause next song the uh, previous song uh, continue pressing and uh, launch voice assistant function okay so that's that part of it okay and uh yeah it has a notification of voice guide now what this, you can set the language for that. Uh, automatically download software, always automatically download it. And yeah, 
So that's all with the, with the app. So what I'm going to do now is do a short sound test. I mean, you won't be able to see me, but I mean, it's, it's, it's all right. Uh, what's wrong with this thing? It's not, it's not focusing. Right, I have to focus it manually now. Right, so I'm going to take them, put it on my ear. Right, so this battery is fully charged. So let's open the tide on. And uh, listen to my playlist. This is not my playlist. My collection. There we go. What's that? 1.1.1. Play this. Right. Now I'm going to turn up the volume. Tell me what's in there, your body, your body, man, your body, get your body shaking, get your friend to rule your deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, they sound very good. Right, uh, because it's using these bits, so I'm going to switch it back to auto. Because it's using this now, it goes deep in my ear and isolates all the sound. And once I put it in my ear, it's, you know, blocked out all the sound. And I think that's because the noise isolation is open. So what I'm going to do now is forget the earphones so I can show you the NFC uh, function. function. So um, let's, let's compare. And then if your phone is NFC enabled, you just tap on the NFC tag right there and connect. Sometimes this is a hit or miss, but it says it's pair right there connected and it's connected. There we go. Wonderful. So this is actually the first successful one I've had. So yeah, that's how you connect the earphones and all that. So um, should you get these earphones with the Samsung Galaxy um pods pro out yes you should for one reason one reason alone they have the best noise as noise cancellation i've ever heard period like i can be on the bus and i'll turn it on and to just drown out everything but just that little bit of sound will always escape will always go, come in but that is fine nothing's perfect but this is the best that i've ever heard and i will highly recommend it so and this is, I think, £179 here in the UK. So that is also cheaper than the Galaxy Buds Pro and the AirPods Pro. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.